and the wind is pumping. Chain broke loose. Chain broke loose. Looks like the people are trying to put fenders out now. This is just like a stowaway boat. Shit. And people are just swimming and climbing into the water. For reef both the sails, the main and the, and the Genoa. I think that front is on us. Look at that. We are two crazies from South Africa. That's Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. Hey, so we are on a sandbank between two islands and a couple of dinghies got here together. I cannot get too close there because there's music playing. And these guys, they're actually helping uh, children or families that was lost a family member in the uh, active duty or something like that. And they brought our family over, so the family is here, they're going to have a treasure hunt, so hopefully we can do some video, not sure. I need to talk very loud, because if YouTube picks up that background music, no video. So I'm going to try and get this video and, and show you guys how these guys are doing a treasure hunt here. And it's just a piece of sand. Uh, they organized. Dwight organized uh, a trip on a police boat, imagine that. <laughs> the children just... My throat. They on an official Bahamian fishing boat. Uh, police boat. Sorry. 107 Retreat is a non-profit organization that provides an all-expenses paid retreat to the Bahamas for the spouses and children of Oklahoma police officers who gave the ultimate sacrifice in the line of duty. White and Shelley combined their passion and abilities to establish 107 Retreat. Please go check them out on Facebook and consider donating. On this occasion, they had a mom with her two kids on board. Neither of the kids had ever been to the ocean before. So you can just imagine the excitement. They go to find a treasure map somewhere on a hill. So the winds were gusting up to 37 knots last night and we have to leave blow whole beach through this cut but the wind has died down to 17 apparent um, oh, We're hitting 20 apparent now So was huge seas last night and we kind of expected this this morning but we're heading to Georgetown and the wind prediction is dead on the nose tomorrow so that's why we decided to leave now it's mid midday so we'll get there in about four hours time but we are completely reefed on reef two with the main and we will reef the Genoa as well once we take it out. There was another leopard that exited in the cut next to us and from our angle it looked vicious but I guess we probably look the same. The bows are completely out the water when we go over these things. But then again the camera doesn't do it justice. And I'm like, whoa, look at this one. Dung! That's a big one. Let's see how the captain's doing. I think we threw the worst. We are through the worst. I'm already on autopilot. We're cruising now. She's just getting out to the deep side. So we can put some fishing lines out. Today yep. is the day we're going to catch a big fish. Yep. We have at this speed, we have got 18 knots of the fair and wind. Through winds about 13, 12, what we expected it to be. Um, so it's not that big. 
No, they expect that wind is going to be 17 for the rest of the day. No, no, Two. I didn't. Well, my, my weather model. <laughs> my windy and your windy is not it's the not thing the same. that I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so now as we get to deep water, I'll turn onto course and then we'll bring out the Genoa and see what happens. Yeah. But for now, it's still rolly because we're in shallow. We're still on the shelf. We are 30 meters deep. So it's those big rollers coming in and I get lifted up. Yeah. And that's why. Yeah. We We're still horsing around. This is how it looked from here. It's a little bit crazy. The mine's not working properly, but... Whoa! We're going up and down. That is for sure. And this is what it looks like from up top here. See, we already got some spray. <laughs> yeah, so excuse the murky screen. And this is inside. Oops. As some of you might know by now, we often have people on board who want to learn and experience full-time sailing or want to learn more about how to sail a catamaran. We went all the way down to Georgetown where we picked up Ray, Sarah, Mike and Kim. These two awesome couples bought their own Leopard 42s awaiting delivery anytime soon and was ready to pick up and soak up as much information as they could. About three days into their week-long trip, we landed up in Staniel Key. Uh, oh, the painter line. <laughs> Come on. Hey. Sarah. Hey. Ray. Hey. 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 <laughs> He knows English. <laughs> Seven seconds of video, but I can't turn it off. Sorry, Kim, you got stuck with a seven second GoPro. Sorry about that, but at least we got some pretty awesome footage from you. It's stuck. Oh no. What's stuck? It's a seven second video. And it's stuck on seven seconds. And I can't power off. Go to the 340. And these four were completely out to learn as Is much as they could, hours? gathering you information as they went along. Out. Even sitting on the dinghy and chatting to people in the dinghy next door, they picked up some awesome yeah. tips. It's just enough. Just enough, okay. Yeah. That's Four people, we, I don't go on train. Okay. All right. And it's heavy, you cannot beach it really. Yeah. You have to be at least three person to beach it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, we bought the same one. I, we were debating between the 20 horse and the 25.
Look at these two little planes. James Bond planes. A little bit bouncy. I'm sure they're probably going to try and offer to pull him somewhere. That is awesome yatis for you. Everybody always willing to help. And who wouldn't want to go up to a spiffy plane like that? What happens when a lot of yatis, especially leopard, share an anchorage? Inevitably, they land up on Sisu. A load of strangers sharing interesting stories, and some of the tales we enjoy is how they came about their boat names. Here are some real cool stories. Phyllis and I, um, the other half of uh, the sky here. <laughs> What's, his name? What's his name? We're on Dave, and we're on Solving, a Leopard 45, and we are new to boating. We've only been boating since November. Tonight. Tracy, I'm John Sugar Mama. <laughs> for the government, so you Americans are, I am your tax dollars at work. Oh, yeah. oh shit! Yeah. And I'm here yeah. to help, right? <laughs> um, we believe Boat name? <laughs> boat name is Andiamo Nudo. What does that mean? What does that mean? Well, I mean go does go anyone nudo. speak Italian? Andiamo is let's go. Nudo is nude. 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 We need to interrupt now for the horn playing. She's got a really big conk. <laughs> Really? 
Logan. My name is Bubba. And I've Bubba. Been married, I've been married 34 years. Oh, wow. How many days? Six months and 14 days. And, days. and, and still sober. And, that, and the name of our boat is Grey Ghost. And uh, Sally and I started this adventure in August on a brand new Leopard oh, 42. Oh, there's a dog. And uh, Bruce taught us a lot of things being the admin. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. And then... Uh, but... But... Frick's videos. Uh, oh, Frick's videos oh, yeah. taught me no, everything no. about what I didn't know about what I didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I, watched, I watched every one of their yeah. videos, I swear. I watched every one of them. Oh, no. and We're going to leave Petra and Frick. Last. Okay. Mac? Oh no. <laughs> I know. He's the lost lobster whisperer. Yeah, I, 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 don't know, I want to know about the lobsters. I don't know. I'm on Monkey Cat. Uh, this is the sixth season in the Bahamas with Monkey Cat. Biggest lost lobster? Uh, probably like six to seven or eight pounds. Ooh, wow. wow. The biggest lobster I've ever seen was down in the Raggeds. And it stood this high, and I'm not lying. I'm lying. And it was this big around, and I scared the crap out of me. <laughs> <laughs> it was probably 20 pounds, right? And probably like 30 years old. So, uh, so how long you can you know. stay underwater? No, no, I'm not that. <laughs> That's exaggerated a little. Bit. Well, but I guarantee you, it's good. I can go down 20 be. feet and shoot lobsters and come back up. That's yeah, 20 feet is about as far as I like. Trying to go down, down four feet to clean the bottom of my boat. <laughs> <laughs> Short of this whole thing is, we went to Belgium, and we we went to Bruges specifically yeah. because oh, of that. Wow. that, that Bruges, what yeah. was that? Movie. The movie, yeah, with, uh, in Bruges, in Bruges, yeah, okay. no, that, that Feral that movie. One. That one, yeah. So yeah, that's why movie. I wanted to go there, so I took her with, and we discovered Bruges is actually the capital of the beer yeah. in the world, the capital, yeah. the beer, beer capital of beer the world. Yeah, it's a great town. Yeah. No, so we started drinking and we took photos of all the beers that we take. Because all the beers that you order there has Not a wrong? unique glass. Oh. So each and every oh. beer has their yeah. own unique glass yeah. that, that comes from. Oh, nice. Logo is very, very Beautiful. shapely. Beautiful. So we would take this. Yeah, we would take pictures pretty. and send it to my brother and his wife. And we were something at 23 or something like that. Yeah. And he said, "Wow, you were rushing, rushing to 100 beers." And I was like, "Huh?" Came on. Let's go. So we, we, we that's had. So you, that's take not a beer. you could take them. You could take them. so we had 100 beers. <laughs> In seven days, in one country. <laughs> 101. 101. Yeah, the 101 was a South African beer. Yeah. Wow. But yeah, we did the 100 beers in one country, and then we decided we want to do one beer in 100 countries, and this is yeah. what we. Oh. Oh. That's why. Here, while we're all here, is we could prepare an invoice to Leopard. That's one percent of the value of what all of us have done, because all the other people you've inspired to buy boats would pale in comparison, but a reasonable sum for them to pay you would be 1% yeah. oh, of God. what we've all had. Yeah. 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 Standard, standard is yes. a yes. Yes. Hey, yes. Thank you guys! Thank you for the person! This one's obviously coming in with my foot. Yeah. I'm just keeping this up. And yeah. then when we're ready, I'm going, am I going to release one? The moment you press out to tack. Here's a little behind the scenes peek when it was Sarah and Kim's turn behind the helm. They did really well. Contact us if you want to know more about it. Then you know you lost power. Yep. It's deep power. Yep. Then you can start letting go. And this one start bringing in. Okay. And you don't stop this one coming in. Okay. And then you let that one go, go to the mast. And then you just need to let it flip past the most, so it's like a little bit fast, but not let it go. Okay. You want to keep that shape as far as far as possible. Okay. And, and as long as. Okay. Ready? Yep. Now let's check. Oh, okay. So <laughs> her hands yeah. were ready. <laughs> no, no, no. You did all the stuff on your own, so now she's all on her own. Okay, out the deck. Okay, so I I remember what two together. Yeah, two yep. together. So mm -hmm. we're going to this side. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And I don't need to make it go 50-50 because no, we're already at 45. 50. I'd rather go ten that side. No, 10, 10, 10, just 10. plastic, or the, no, the, uh, the 10 that side. Yeah. Okay, there we go. And now we're starting to turn, so yeah. can I do this one yeah. now? The red line, you red. must now start taking off the winch, but keep the tension. Tension, there you go. And Get your hands off. Oof. Get your no, hands off. No, 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 you have to... Hold the rope. Hold the line. Oh, yeah. hold this line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, we're attacking. You see the bow is going through. Don't yeah. let it go for now. Just get the Okay, green now it's deep out. Let go of the red line. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. And bring yeah. the green line in. Bring it in, bring it in. You can bring it in till it touches. I can almost let it bring. No, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's it. Okay, okay. You must run the feet. The green line, not the, the red one. Oh. Check it out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep the tension on that line, on the green line. Keep the tension. Don't let it go. Yeah. <coughs> that's it. That's much okay. better. And we will have our first time with that. Done? Yeah. You, you, you. Oh. Keep it. Press the button. Okay. Press. Look at your winch. That's not going anywhere. Exactly. So what do you need to do? <laughs> oh, let this out? No, that is fine. I okay. I, that was part of oh, the problem oh. because you, you're blocking it. Okay. But you also have only three turns on that one. So it's actually just spinning. That winch is just spinning. Can I... Um, you can help it by more? pulling it. So if you pull now... Pull. No, no. don't open it out. Just pull. Press the button and pull. We've got a sourdough bread in the oven. King is the... Oh, King, <laughs> King is the sourdough queen. <gasps> Look at this. Perfection. Look at that. <laughs> and now we're not allowed to eat it for the next two hours. <laughs> that is not fair. <laughs> A perfect bread. Hey Kim, do you think yes. it's perfect? Perfect. Did it come out the way you wanted it to? Perfect. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> so guess what Sisu's having for lunch? <laughs> Jeez, there's gonna be nothing left of that thing. Well done Kim. That looks amazing. Oh, you guys must smell it. 